When you first receive your PTZ Optics Link 4K camera, the first thing you should do is read through the included quick start guide. The full manual is also available at ptzoptics.com slash link 4K in the documentation tab of the website. Inside the box, you'll find the camera, a USB A to A cable, an RS-232 cable, an IR remote, two AAA batteries, a power supply, and the quick start guide. You have two choices to power your Link 4K camera. You can use the included power supply or a PoE Plus network connection. Let's go ahead and connect the camera to a PoE network connection. The camera will automatically perform the boot up dance. Once complete, you can control the camera with the IR remote control to confirm it is working properly. Once connected to your network, the camera will automatically acquire an IP address when connected to the network via a DHCP router. If the network cannot assign an IP address, the camera will default to 192.168.100.88. There are multiple easy ways to connect to your camera with a computer over your network. Using an internet browser such as Chrome, you can type in ptzoptics.local to reach the camera's web interface. This is a local address you can change by updating the device ID in the device info area. For example, by changing the device ID to camera1, you can access the camera at camera1.local. When logging in, the default username and password for the camera is admin. Once you are logged in, you can navigate to the network settings page to view your camera's network settings. Here, you can see the IP address your camera has and choose if you want to keep the DHCP address or set a unique IP address with the static option. Note. If you are setting up multiple cameras, you should do so one at a time. It is recommended to give each camera a different device ID, which will change the local web address. To do this, you can navigate to the Device Info tab and type in a unique name in the Device ID text box. This will allow you to set up unique addresses that you can bookmark to connect to each camera. Example, Camera1.local and Camera2.local. You can also connect to your camera directly by typing in the IP address into a web browser such as 192.168.100.88. You can use the IR remote control shortcut star pound four to display the camera's IP address at the top of any live video from the camera. Once you are connected to your camera on the network, it's a good idea to click the check firmware version button in the system settings tab to ensure that you have the latest firmware running on your camera. Note, you can scan the QR code on the box to quickly get the tutorial videos you need to get started right away. Once you have the latest firmware uploaded to your camera, it's time to familiarize yourself with the user interface. The navigation panel allows you to quickly and easily select various control options for the camera. It can be collapsed to make more room for the user interface. The camera settings page gives you access to the camera's video feed, PTZ control, OSD menu, preset control, speed settings, image settings, and control settings. The audio and video settings page gives you access to the video encoding settings, IP video stream one and stream two encoding settings, and audio encoding settings sections of the network video feeds. The streaming settings page gives you access to the RTMPS settings, SRT settings, RTSP settings, multicast settings, and OnVIF settings sections. The Profile Settings page gives you access to the Logo Upload, Profile Configuration, Quick Profiles, Custom CSS, and Tutorial Mode sections. The Network Settings page grants access to the LAN Settings and NTP Settings sections. The MIDI Control page grants access to the PTZ Optics MIDI Control, Control Mapping, Mass Command Edit, and Information sections. The MIDI Control page can be reached by accessing the HTTPS version of the camera's web interface. The page must remain open for MIDI control to function. The Device Information page gives access to the Device Information section. The System Settings page gives access to the HTTPS settings, IR Remote Channel Selection, Access Settings, Firmware Check, Restore Default, and Firmware Upload sections. Now that your camera is on the network and you are familiar with the interface, let's connect your camera to the Dante controller to patch video the same way you would patch audio. Your Link 4K camera will show up as a transmitter device in the Dante controller, which will allow you to route video and audio directly to any Dante receiver on your network. The video will work automatically once connected to the network. 
You can adjust the video resolution and frame rates in the audio and video settings area of the web interface. The camera can also transmit and receive audio using the 3.5mm audio input and output ports on the back of the camera. You can use Dante controller to route audio from the PTC Optics camera to any receiver on your network. If you would like to use your camera with software such as OBS, vMix, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom, you need to download Dante Studio. Dante Studio is a suite of software tools that brings Dante Video directly to your PC. Dante Studio includes a tool called Dante Video RX, which can receive video from the camera and connect with a virtual webcam in any software that supports a webcam input. Dante Studio also includes a tool called Dante Video Viewer, which is a standalone application that allows you to view your Link 4K camera video feed. Now that the camera is connected to your network via Dante, you can start familiarizing yourself with the auto tracking capabilities. You can turn on auto tracking by pressing the auto track button on the IR remote control F3 or via the web interface. Pressing F4 on the IR remote will also disable auto tracking as well as selecting the off option in the web interface. The Link 4K's auto tracking can lock onto a specific person even while other people are in frame. Once tracking is enabled, a green box will appear around a subject. You can change between subjects using the left and right arrows on the IR remote controller. Once the desired subject has been found, press the home button on the IR remote to confirm your selection. A red box will appear temporarily, displaying a target has been confirmed. Link 4K cameras are able to track subjects up to 300 feet away, which is 91 meters. The 12X lens can track subjects up to 200 feet away, the 20X can track subjects up to 250 feet away, and the 30X can track subjects up to 300 feet away. When you are setting up the camera for either an HDMI or SDI video output, it's important to check out the system select resolution dial. This dial sets the HDMI and SDI video resolution outputs. You can take a small flathead screwdriver to change the dial to set the HDMI and SDI video outputs. Note, the Link 4K camera cannot output HDMI and 3G SDI simultaneously. You can use the IR remote shortcut star star F3 or navigate to the web UI to toggle between the HDMI and SDI video output. For more advanced operations, please refer to the manual under the documentation tab at ptzoptics.com slash link 4K. And as always, feel free to reach out to support or check out the knowledge base on our website. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new Link 4K.